There you are. Did you hear? Foggy Jack got another one. Last night. Best day in. No one gets hurt. All right. I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Why don't you go away? At least I'll fit in among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. Lovely day for it. Ooh, very nice stitching, if I may say so. They said he got a caning at school. Yes. Did it hurt very much? No. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes. Do you understand why? Why you... what? Well, why you got the caning. Yes. Did you really kick a rubbish bin in Slazzy Crowden's face? No, I didn't! Right. Did you kick a rubbish bin? Yes. Did it then go into Lester Crowden's face? I... I didn't see him. I... I didn't see him. He came around the corner. He came around for... He came around the corner. Oh, that's not at all your fault then. Oh, good. I, are you being sarcastic? Yeah, I was being sarcastic. I hate it when you're sarcastic! I know. Nice to have a way to take people out of commission without killing them. Woo! <laughs> 
be better, thanks. Don't you just love the smell of motor? It's so modern. In Rome, I suppose. They probably do do this in Rome, don't they? Should clear up soon, I imagine. See you at the pub. Who's there? Oh, I'd love to chat, but I'm so discombobulated right now. I can't find my magic wand. I mean, I know where it is. It's in the locker, of course. But I can't find my key. And John Cleland and his friends are coming. They do so love my magic wand. Do you think you can help me find my key? I have to tidy, you see. Could you bring it to me here? Don't touch anything. It's got to be just so for my guests. Dress around here. Lovely weather. You know, I think someone's looking for you. Lovely day for it. They say you see the oddest shadows in the street at night. I never look. There you are. There we go. No, I wouldn't be much of a bobby in a trench coat and plimsolls, eh? <laughs> you catch my drift? Lovely day for it. Oh, delighted to see you. Lovely day for it. Did you hear? Meet a new the friend. The circus is coming to town. I, 
I've been a very bad person. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Let's new. I've been a very bad boy. Right. I can take his stuff, and then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials, can't I? Just uh, watching the day go by. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down.
Happiness is a choice. Personal. Now I lay me down to sleep. your bed, Arthur, haven't you? Snug as a bug on a drug. Papers patrolling the park. I should snoop around a bit. 
Are you sure you're fe feeling all right? You can't hide forever. Are you all right? You seem a bit sick. Excuse me. I've been asked to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motorline and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either. And that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, at the Reform Club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, Beauchamp? Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the General himself to ask for credentials from the Beautification Committee. Have you got any? There you go. Fine. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs, and they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh, you better take these, in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. You feeling all right, sir? I love a game of hide and seek. You're only making it harder on yourself. <laughs> Give up. And I won't smash your blood's hole. That's where they quarantined all the wastrels with plague, isn't it? That's a cheery thought. He said it was just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run, if you don't want to end up like him. She's a hair's breadth from going rabbit. Just lie down. 